Well, the lectures are all 50 minutes long. Uh, it's a standard academic lecture. Uh, it's a tradition that derives from uh, universities where you have to start at five past the hour and end at five to the hour to allow the students to rush from one lecture to the next. Um, but it's also kind of inbuilt into academic traditions. You can say something significant, I think, in, uh, in those 50 minutes. And it allows us here at Gresham College about 10 minutes at the end to uh, have questions and a little bit of discussion. And those are always very interesting because you have an extraordinary mixture of people in the audience. There are some real experts. Uh, there are some people who simply want to know things, some people with their own opinions they want to put and so on. Um, and I find most lecturers, like me, uh, somehow 50 minutes after I've been teaching in the university for several decades is a kind of inbuilt clock. So even if I intend to speak for 40 minutes, it always turns out of being 50 minutes. Um, so it's a standard academic lecture. We do um, also put onto the website extracts of lectures of shorter nature because not everybody is going to sit through and watch 50 minutes at one stretch. Um, so we can chop them up a bit and, and, and have certain key sections uh, that go onto the website. Uh, and uh, they're free because Sir Thomas Gresham said in his will that they had to be free. And so we can't charge for them uh, we, we can't in any way at all. And we can't associate ourselves with any lectures that, are, that, people have, that require people to pay an entrance fee. And I think that's an extremely good Thing. And there's no reason why they shouldn't be free, because uh, we're supported by the income from the Royal Exchange. And that provides more than enough money to cover our costs.